Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft PowerPoint and looking at how we can create storyboards in PowerPoint. So PowerPoint is obviously a great tool for presentations, but there's a lot more functionality to the, than just presentations. So storyboards can be really useful, whether it's students mapping out a, an essay, planning a, a video, or some sort of performance. They can be used in a variety of ways. So first off, we're going to go to the Design tab and we're going to change the format of the page. At the moment, it's, it's a slide format. It's for viewing on screen. We want to make it into something that's printable. So we go to Page Setup. We can choose A3 paper and click OK. It's going to ask us to scale. That's in relation to content already there. We've got no content, so that's absolutely fine. We can then select and delete those elements. Just for reference, I'm using Office 365 PowerPoint for Mac, so there may be some subtle differences as to how the menus appear, but the functionality should still be the same if you're using a PC. So we could choose to format the background. For example, we could put in a solid color. So let's just put in a, let's put in a, a reasonably light gray. And then having done that, if we go to the home page, we've got a variety of things we can do. I like to initially put in a title so we can put in a text box at the top and we can double click and select that and add that in there we could put in a name we could put in some sort of icon so potentially if it's a video shoot if we go to the insert tab we've got a whole range of icons we could choose and we could put in Let's see, we can find something that's film related. So I'll search for film. I think a clapperboard would do, so we'll insert that. We can scale that as we choose. We'll get rid of the design ideas tab and we can also change the color of that. So we go to graphics, fill and white. We can make that white. So we've, we've added a title, we've added a, an icon we could add other icons if we chose. I'm going to close that tab for the moment. So the next thing we're going to do is look to add our storyboard shapes. So if we go to the insert tab again, and this time we choose shape, I like the rounded rectangle. So we click on that and we can start to draw our rectangles. He's got fill at the moment of blue, but we'll leave that just because they stand out. Having got one, I can hit Command C and Command V and paste it to get a second one. It's Control C and Control V if you're on a PC. And then I can just do the same again, paste another one. And what's really nice is it gives you the dotted lines as a guide to align all of your boxes up and also a little arrow to show you that they're e equal distance apart. So when you're happy with that, we can then hold the Shift key and select all three and then copy all three and paste them. And that gives us our second row. And we can paste those again and position them to get our third row. So we've now got our boxes. So if this was just uh, an activity where you wanted the students to write out what it was that they were gonna do, maybe an essay preparation or just a description of what they were gonna shoot for their thing, then we could obviously change the fill color, make that a white and we could either share it with them and let them make a copy and they could just double click in the box and type in their text. However, if it's something where you want them to maybe have gone out and done some shooting or add research some images of the sorts of things they're going to shoot and add those, what's nice is we can use the fill function. So if we select the shape and we go picture fill, we can insert a picture so if I go to my machine, I can find a picture and click insert and it inserts the picture into the shape. So let's do that again. If we click on there, uh, picture and insert, we can choose a picture from file and hit insert. So we can insert the picture into the shape. So we've created our storyboard. Now we're happy that we've got our storyboard. It may be that we've got more than nine scenes. So all we need to do is right click on the slide, hit duplicate slide, and we've got our second set of scenes. And we can keep doing that depending on how many scenes we need. 
When we're happy that we finish that, the next thing we may want to do is to print it out. So we've got a number of choices here. We could just print it from PowerPoint or we can go to the export option. So file and export. And we've got a number of choices. So we could import, export it as a JPEG or a TIFF or we could export it as a PDF. So we click PDF. I can label that. And I can hit export. So it's gonna save it. So there you have a way to create storyboards using PowerPoint. Really simple, really easy. Um, and, and you get a really effective looking storyboard. So I hope you found the video useful. Give the video a like. Come back and join us again for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.